Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Beamer Fawns, and today I am just doing a quick little video for you guys on um, the EVAP purge solenoid on your N62X5. I'm going to be going over where it is, what the symptoms of it are, and how to replace it. So, first of all, the symptoms of a bad or failing EVAP purge valve is when you're filling up gas, the pump will click repeatedly when you're trying to fill up. So it won't, like it'll click as if it's full, but it's not. Um, you'll have bad fuel mileage. When you open your gas tank, you might hear some hissing. Um, and you will also have poor, um, poor throttle response, I guess you could say. And it feels, as soon as my engine light popped on, I could feel it was like, it's more sluggish it felt like I was kind of it felt like I was towing something almost when I was accelerating with it so let's just get right into it so when you open your hood I've already kind of taken some stuff apart so you're gonna see this here this is what the solenoid looks like and it's actually in a pretty easy location it's just under this plastic here so you're gonna take off one two I've, I go over this in another video in my actually, actually the most recent video I did with spark plugs, I go over how to take all this off. So I'm not going to go super in depth, but you pop these off one by one. Then you pop your uh, air filter box off like that. I probably should not put it on the ground like that, but that's fine. Don't really care right now. <laughs> Then you take this off, and then right here, you're gonna see your valve. This is it right here. And it's got one plug here, and you just gotta kind of pop the clip off the top there. And let's see if I can do that. Yep, did it with one hand. And then this rubber piece slides off the tab here. So that comes out, then you'll have to unclip this line here. And then there's one more under there. This is the tricky one. You kind of got to get your fingers in there and pinch the sides of it. But I just, honestly, I just broke these tabs off because I knew I was replacing it anyways. And it just made getting it out a whole lot easier. Now, putting the new one in, these two lines right there are going to be kind of an annoying. But we'll deal with that in a second. And I guess... I don't know if I should, I guess I'll, I don't know, I don't know if I should put this line on before or after, but I'll take it off this part now, and then we'll get to the next part in a sec. Okay, that came off extremely easily, like you just push the side tabs and it came right off. So, whoa, do not lose anything in your engine bay. <laughs> so now, this one has got to go... What am I doing here? One sec. Okay, so I don't know why, but this valve has got a tab like that, and this one has got a tab like that. So I'm going to have to call Lordco and see why there is a difference. Okay, so where I left off, you saw that the tab was different on here. From all my research, it just says that it's from a model year change, so I don't know if you can see it, but I basically just snipped the top of the connector where the tab was hitting so that it went in, put the clip back on the edge, and it's in, in snug. The wiring diagram all looks exactly the same. The voltages are the same. <laughs> Everything looks the same, so I'm going to take the chance for y'all and see if it uh if it ends up working if not i'll just go buy a different one i guess but that's like 80 bucks down the drain since i snipped the part but uh yeah we'll see we will see what happens in a few minutes here i'm just gonna finish uh cleaning this car because i'm off my lunch now but uh once i finish work here i'll do a startup video clear the code and see what happens Okay, so as you guys remember from the last clip, I had put on, or I was going to see 
if I could get that that part to fit by cutting out a section of my clip which I did I put it on and I've driven about 150 kilometers with it like that it didn't quite fit on the bracket so I zip tied it to the other wires there which isn't the greatest thing but but I'll show you guys something I've driven about 150 kilometers and the engine light does not come on or has not come on so it does work you guys if you are sold a part I think I still have it in my trunk here that has this this tab right here either off to the right or off to the left you definitely can cut a section out of your clip that holds it in place and use it anyways I did because I simply just did not want to go through the hassle of trying to return an electronic part because half the time electronic solenoids and coil packs you can't return so I just didn't want to go through all that and I made it work anyways I guess this is part of being a mechanic is making shit work but yeah I hope uh, hope this video uh, helps a lot of you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos I'll be doing a uh, X delete video or sorry XHP transition tune video this week and I'm also uploading a video of getting my E90 pretty much all sorted out and running so stay tuned this week for a couple videos I'm doing Fawns out.